tip number 32, always do testing in environmental chamber. Do you know what environmental chamber is? It may look like this. Okay, it may be a device or huge device or it can be maybe sometimes even like a room where you can control environment around your board. Usually what we normally do, we control temperature, but you can also control some other parameters like, for example, humidity. Yeah. Usually what we use, uh, it looks something like this. And uh, we take our boards and we place them into the chamber. Then once they are in the chamber, we run uh, different kind of tests. Uh, for example, when we do testing on the processor boards, we have some boards running uh, really intensive uh, memory stress test, uh, or we also may run uh, the kind of test uh, which I call peripheral test. So it's testing all the peripherals on the board and uh, checking if everything is still working correctly for different kind of temperature. What do you think why you would like to do this kind of test? Why it is important? From my experience, when you test your boards in environmental chamber, you can find possible problems, possible issues, which you will, uh, which you may never find on your table when board is running on your table or which you may find only very occasionally when the board is running on your table. However, your customers may find it. And from my experience, uh, if there was something uh, unusual on the board, it was visible during the testing in the environmental chamber and we were able to repeat the problem in the environmental chamber. That's also very important. Yeah? If something is happening sometimes, occasionally on your table and you are not able to repeat the problem, it's very hard to find what the problem is and where it is very <laughs> it's very hard to find if you fix the problem. So if you can repeat the problem in the environmental chamber, you can uh, analyze it and uh, when you find a solution, you can easily confirm that the solution fixed the problem. What kind of problems we uh, I've seen during the environmental test? I've seen uh, memory failing. I've seen, uh, for example, crystal failing. So crystal didn't start oscillating. I've seen uh, Ethernet failing. Yeah, so it can be different kind of uh, problems. I've seen uh, leaking between uh, between. Uh, different uh, boards if one board was uh, switched off the other one was on and when we were running some test the current leaking so the current flowing from the board which, which was switched on flowing to the board which was off prevented booting up the board which was off and it was only visible in the environmental chamber i'm pretty sure it may happen when you have it on the table once I don't know, one from 100 times, your board may not boot up, but you will never find out why. But in the chamber, we were able to replicate this problem all the time and we were able to fix it. So normally, when we do the testing, we go usually down to low temperatures, like uh, minus 40 degrees Celsius or minus 40 Fahrenheit. Uh, for processor boards, we may go even lower because uh, you know when the processor board is running uh, a lot of components they are actually uh, you know the, the board uh, heats up itself so the components they are actually not running at minus 40 so many times we go as low as uh, minus 50 or maybe even minus 60 it depends on the chamber which we are using and depends if the board is still working correctly uh, for the high uh, temperatures normally uh, the lowest uh, highest temperature lowest highest temperature which we use is 65 celsius but again it depends on the board because if you are running processor boards the processor usually it gets really very hot so sometimes the 65 is the maximum temperature which you can use for the ambient 
uh, for the bars which uh, are not so hot we can go higher like maybe 85 celsius so 185 fahrenheit but it depends on the board definitely do the testing if you are serious about your board if you are planning to sell the board to a lot of your customers so if it's not only board which is which is developed for your hobby project you really should test it because it can save you money because if you ship something and there is something wrong what your customers will find out later you will need to replace their boards so testing in every metal chamber it can help you really help you and it's not expensive you can actually rent this kind of chamber it's it's really not in slovakia it's not expensive i'm not sure how it, in different countries but uh, it's uh, definitely worth worth it okay do the testing in environmental chamber don't forget tip number 32 always do testing in environmental chamber why it helps you to find possible problems before mass production